So, apparently there is a function on my camera I had no idea was there. You'll probably notice I actually look a little bit different. That's because I have the camera recording me and because here's the thing on your phone camera, at least on mine, there's a little icon on the top, from my point of view, it'd be my top right hand corner of the phone. And there it says HD dash 30. I got curious, so I tapped it. And it said HD 60. The HD 30 and HD 60 look different. And then I thought, wait. I'm recording this video at like that many frames per second, aren't I? Is that what that is? Well, it's on the HD 60 right now, so... Huh. Funny, today is day 1060. I guess it's serendipitous. Um, right, so... My low, my high, my active kindness. Um, nothing particularly bad happened that would really constitute what a low is. Um, man, I don't know. I don't know what my low is. I think, well, I could, well, here's the thing. I now know who, uh, Yesterday, who uh, tomorrow's hot ones guest is gonna be? I probably could have told you guys yesterday, but I forgot to look it up. I guess you can count that as my low because, you know, again, quite frankly, I can't think of anything that was really that bad that happened yesterday. At least not that I'm aware of. Um, let's see. My high was that I got to talk to my mom last night. You know about a, a couple of things. So, that, that was nice. It's always nice to talk to my mom. And my act of kindness is I offered to carry some things out for someone. And, I mean, they they, were, they said they can handle themselves. But, you know, it's the act of trying to be, be nice that really matters. Because, you know, it proves that I was being, you know, considered towards others. Plus, they did thank me for the offer. So... I can't really complain. So, with that being said, good morning, happy hump day, everybody. Ooh. Okay. So, that's what 60 frames a second looks like. Under. I mean, you can probably tell if I'm moving my mouth, if I'm moving 60 frames a second, but more spastic and bombastic movements in comparison, such as, again, moving this arm. Huh. That really makes a huge difference. Maybe I'll do this more often. That'd be kind of cool. You know, you see me in HD. Uh, that one was really legitimately meant to ride. Uh, right. So. Man, this is actually quite um interesting. I mean, again, we were in the slow part of the week. And I can't even say that there's going to be a new episode of The Masked Singer tonight because they're going to have it on Thanksgiving night, which, you know, makes sense. Something really fun and entertaining to watch before you go to bed after a long day of eating and eating and more eating. Although, uh, not me. Tomorrow I'm actually going to do something to really work up my appetite. And then I'll be able to have a dinner. So... I guess one thing I could do is add another hint to the two things I always look forward to at Thanksgiving at uh, my mother's house. So, let's see. The first hint is, was, it's one of the items is something you expect. The other one is something you wouldn't expect, technically. The hint I gave yesterday was, they're both usually traditional Thanksgiving, you know, menu items. One is a usual, one is, you know, for the most part, people have without any complaints, and the other is very, you know, controversial. So, 
Yeah, see, that's the only problem. I actually had to come up with hints. I'm not really the greatest at doing that. But, uh, I should try and put effort, you know, give the people what they want. Oh, ah. You know, that's another part of my low. I have like a, I have like a cut, a really tiny, tiny cut, like right there on my lip. And if I open my mouth too wide, it reopens. It's not bleeding right now, but you know, we are getting into that time of year where, you know, the air is dry and cold. And so this is chapstick wearing leather. Wear, wear, ch chapstick wearing leather. Chapstick wearing weather. That is what I meant to say. Um, right. So, as I was saying, in terms of hints, one of these two items always looks nice upon presentation. The other varies in appearance. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll leave it at that. So I'll put the hint in the uh, link in the description down below. Yesterday I actually saw an article that, um, well, I, I'm subscribed to the Grand Line Review on Facebook. I'll put a link to his channel in the description down below. And he is a much greater fan of One Piece than I am. I will not dispute that. Yesterday he actually gave out his thoughts as to what we could possibly expect out of Chapter 1000. It was actually a very interesting article, and, you know, I'll put a link to that video. Oh, I actually put a link on my Facebook last night, but I'll be nice and I'll put a link in the description down below again, because I'm nice like that, in case anyone didn't see it. Um, it actually got me thinking about a couple things. What do I expect and what I want to see? Personally, considering the year that we've had, and considering that... Wano as a whole is probably the best arc of One Piece, and it's probably not even close. This chapter could potentially be not a very good one, and I don't think I would complain. I mean, think about it. Chapter 1000 is a milestone chapter. The combination of... Over 23 years of writing and storytelling. You know, and don't get me wrong, there have been very impressive feats as well in that regard. You know, the biggest two examples are the Harry, or Harry Potter and the MCU. But they were more short term in comparison to this. I mean, the MCU was an entire decade to get to Endgame. Harry Potter, well, I guess if you include the time it took for the first book to be written and the final movie, and I did say movie because even though they're different, they're still the same thing, still part of the same franchise, to be made, I guess that's a little more long-term in comparison. Actually, I'm going to look that up right now. Okay, Sorcerer's Stone was first published on November 14th, 2000. Okay, so not quite a full decade. All right, so yeah, all right, I'll, I'll buy that. I'll, I'll, I'll concede that. And that. So it really was a full decade. Because Deathly Hallows Part 2 was like July of, uh, the movie that is, July of 2011, so... Yeah, near a decade. Definitely not a, um... I mean, again, it's still a long time, but in comparison to One Piece, it's about half the length. Actually, less than half the length. So, it really is interesting to think about what Chapter 1000 will, will be. Because, I mean, every milestone chapter in One Piece has been different in its own right. They, I mean, for starters, they've all been good. For sure. But they've ranged from having something truly monumental happen to something not underwhelming, but not as grandiose as you would prefer. 
And again, I'll put a link to that video in the description down below because the Grand Line Review does a great job of explaining that a lot better than I am right now. Um, that being said, I actually did see another article. Like, and it was from CBR, so I am very close to just completely not regarding that way because CBR's information really isn't all that, you know, accurate when it comes to talking about stuff like this. That chapter 1000 will appear in 2021. So I guess if that happens, I should get my thoughts out of the way as to what I would think about such a possibility. And to be perfectly honest, I honestly wouldn't mind it. Really, I, I would not mind. I mean, don't get me wrong. It'd be great if I was able to do a chapter reaction in chapter 1000 on my birthday. And of course, it would be a huge missed opportunity if it didn't come out at the end of 2020, considering you know, how bad the year 2020 was. But these sorts of things happen. And there's really nothing you can do about it. I mean, this entire year, we've had a more, a, a larger a number, I almost used incorrect grammar, a larger number of breaks this year due to global events, which you just can't control those things. And, you know, I did hear that after chapter 997, which will be coming out this upcoming weekend, there will be one more break. So there's going to be a break next week. Which is fine. I actually have expected a break to be coming very soon. I'm actually kind of surprised we lasted this long without a break, to be honest. Again, considering the year we had. So in terms of how I would feel if Chapter 1000 came out in 2021, as opposed to doing the chapter reaction on my birthday, I'm here to tell you right now, I would not mind it. In fact, I'm actually half expecting it. I mean... I'm a big boy. I have to be flexible. Sure. It, again, it would be a missed opportunity, but you just can't control these things. There's, there's nothing you can do. I mean, again, I'm going to be turning 31, so it would kind of be rather immature of me to, you know, react in negative fashion to something that there's really nothing you can do about. You know, you want to be, you know, I'm turning... I mean, I'm going to be turning 31. I should act my age, right? So, I am actually half expecting Chapter 1000 to be out in 2021. I really am. And if it does, I'm not going to mind it. Do I, again, do I want Chapter 1000 to be on my birthday? Absolutely. It'd be a great way to have, it'd be a great way to start my birthday off. I mean, reacting to a manga chapter on my birthday for you guys? That'd be incredible. That would make for some very good entertainment, actually. So, it's up in the air. I mean, in terms of what I expect to see in Chapter 1000 itself, I don't want to say what I want. Here's the thing. I predict that, for starters, I'm going to read it. That's the first thing I predict that's going to happen when it comes out. The second is, I will be doing a manga chapter reaction. I just don't know when it will be. Because I don't know when chapter 1000 is going to be. But in terms of what I want to see. You know, as long as I see... As long as I read the manga chapter and say what I'm seeing at is pure One Piece at its most One Piece... Be it big or small, I'm going to be satisfied. Again, I actually tend to look things at a more half, at a more glass half full outlook on life. So, I'm definitely not going to complain if what we get is something that everyone thinks is mediocre. I mean, I doubt it will be mediocre. Because, again, Chapter 1000 is a milestone chapter. But it's definitely worth knowing that, you know... Because, let's be honest, no manga chapter is what anyone would ever consider perfect. And there are always going to be some skeptics and haters out there that will complain. 
but just know that I won't. I mean, considering the year we've had, I don't think I have any right to complain. Because I'll take anything I can get at this point. And I'm pretty sure everyone else will think the exact same way. Like, favorite, share, hit the subscribe button, follow me on social media platforms, turn on the notifications on YouTube. I'm very humble in this video for all of you guys watching. Enjoy for the name. Hopefully you have a wonderful, wonderful hump day. Remember, you guys want to talk to your channel. I'm always going to be here to lend an ear. I'll always be back. Take care and make good choices. See ya.